That's my wife. And she's pregnant. When you have a baby, there are a lot of costs to consider. Car seat and a bassinet. You know, baby carrier, a thermometer. Wait, wait, wait. But how much is like the actual like hospital birth going to cost? Healthcare in the U.S. is significantly more expensive than in other countries. And some experts say that this is partly because consumers don't go around looking for prices and comparing them between hospitals like they do when they're buying a car or anything else for that matter. So I decided to try it out and see if there was any way to discover in advance how much we would be paying for our baby's birth. What happens next is at once depressing and horrifying, showing how broken and expensive the American healthcare system is. There's no way I'm the only person who's ever had this question. Childbirth in the United States is the number one reason why people go to the hospital. Almost four million women are going to give birth this year, and most births are relatively uncomplicated. So you would think that with such a common procedure that the price would be generally well known. I wanted to know how much childbirth usually costs, so I did what any good child of the internet would do, and I found a really disturbing study from Yale Medical School. It analyzed almost 800,000 low-risk deliveries in the U.S., looking at the variation in costs just for the facilities, meaning the hospital room and the supplies and stuff like that. For just the cost of the hospital room, this study found that the price varied between $1,189 to $11,986. So I realized that I'm going to have to ask the specific hospital where my wife is giving birth if I'm going to figure this out. Every hospital has a giant list they call the Charge Master, which details all the services they provide and what they cost. And each item and service in the hospital has a code. If a doctor spends 20 minutes with you, that's a different code and a different price than if they spent 40 minutes with you. Your insurance company then negotiates a lower price for every single item on the list. So when my wife goes into the hospital to give birth, the nurses will have a barcode scanner and they will scan in every item she touches. Everything from the IV tubes to the ibuprofen gets scanned onto the bill. At the end of it all, they put all the codes onto one piece of paper which they call a claim, and they send it off to the insurance. The insurance looks at it and pays a certain percentage based on my policy, and then the hospital then sends the remaining balance to me. So I figured if I could get my hands on this master list of prices, I could just add up the price of the delivery, right? Well, it wasn't that easy. I called the hospital where Isabel's going to give birth, and I got a message machine. So I decided to call around to some other hospitals to see if anyone could give me some general pricing information about the cost of birth. All right, so my wife's pregnant. Because my wife is pregnant, but my wife will be giving birth. My wife's pregnant, and I'm trying to get an idea of how much uh, different services cost, items that would be on a bill, different costs associated with the labor and delivery. Oh, okay, one well, moment. Okay, give me one second. Let me talk to my um, team lead. Certainly. Let me connect you with the billing office. I can connect you to our financial coordinator. All I'll have to do is transfer you to the pricing line. I can transfer you. So now I'm being transferred to another line or something. I don't know. They're transferring me somewhere. Answer the phone. I will be out of the office until Monday, February the 8th. I'm going to hang up and try this again. You've reached the voicemail of Patient Priceline. I will be out of the office returning on February 18th. You can leave me a message. Everyone's out of the office. All agents are currently busy with other customers. Currently, all of our operators are busy. I'm sorry, extension number 59 didn't answer. You can say things like, Please continue search. Currently, all of our Good operators morning. are busy. Your call will be recorded. Sure we provide you with quality service. Quality no music this time? I just have to sit here on hold with no music. I, I'm just trying to see if I can get a number. You, you, uh, you will not get a copy of that until after the procedure is done. Okay. Do you have that information, though, in terms of like how much uh, certain items cost? No, um, they will not present the cost until after. Um, so there's, there's literally no way for me to discover what the cost is until after I buy it, is that right? You do not keep that information on hand. Everything is processed after. Certainly that information exists in your hospital system somewhere. The itemized copy. All of that information is done after the procedure, not before. 
I haven't heard a single number from anyone about how much anything costs. Ooh, this is actually starting to become frustrating. <laughs> okay. Finally, after two weeks and 30 phone calls, I got a hold of a pricing consultant from the hospital where Isabel's gonna give birth. I finally just got a call back from a pricing consultant and I wasn't able to record it because she called me out of the blue. She had taken down all my insurance information and was able to run it through her system and come up with an estimate quote. And finally, for the first time in two weeks, I heard a number. She said that I would be paying $347 for my wife's birth. She wasn't able to give me a breakdown of what that meant or any items specifically. She was able to only give me that number. And when I pushed on certain items, she said she frankly didn't know. Apparently prices in a hospital are beyond even a pricing consultant. And then one day, this happened. I think Izzy may be going into labor. Here we go. I forgot about healthcare prices for a moment and watched my amazing wife go through a night of painful labor. She was the hero of the night, and at the end of it, we had a new member of our little family. Oliver was born with no complications and a two-day stay in the hospital. All very typical. Well, I got the bill back in the mail. The insurance negotiated a lower price. Oh. So the bill that came to... So the bill that came to... Uh... So we got the final bill back and the hospital charged $16,000. The negotiated price with the insurance company was $8,000. They covered 90% of it and sent us a bill for $841. That's $500 more than the pricing consultant had quoted me for an uncomplicated typical birth, which is what Isabel had. Our healthcare system suffers from a big problem, which is that there's huge variation in cost. But what seems to me is the bigger problem is the fact that us consumers have no tools to find out where we fall in that pricing variation. The hospital down the street could be a fairly cheap hospital or it could be an extremely expensive one. It could be 10 times more than the cheap ones. You have no idea and there's no way to tell. And hopefully someday this will change. But in the meantime, we got a really cute baby out of this whole thing. So I'm not complaining. Thank you for calling the patient price line. At this time, we are assisting other callers, but your call is very important to us. Please speak clearly and leave your name and telephone number where you can be reached, and someone will return your call within 48 hours.